The best in every profession is a common question, and people are curious to know who has had tremendous success in their field. We spend time debating who excelled the most, even though there is no clear solution. The NBA is the same. Basketball fans have been debating who the best player ever was for years. Among the players who come to mind are Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, however, is the one most can agree was the GOAT. Today's video will be about Michael Jordan and how NBA legends and players talking about how insanely good he was. Before we go any further, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! Comparing players from various eras is challenging. The best method is to assess a player's dominance at a particular time. Michael Jordan was among the top five basketball players for 10 seasons because of his selection to 10 All-NBA first teams. Throughout his career, he also earned nine first-team All-Defensive accolades. Let us now discuss what NBA legends and players think of Michael Jordan. Number 1. Larry Bird Larry Bird is a former NBA executive, coach, and professional basketball player who played for the Boston Celtics. Sometimes known as the Hick from French Lick, he's considered to be one of the best basketball players of all time. He had this to say about Michael Jordan. Michael can beat you in many ways. He can physically beat you, mentally, guard you, and score. I know in my time, he was better than all of us. He's always been a clutch performer, and one of the guys can take over late in the game, and that's what made Michael Jordan so special. When the game was on the line, no one was better. The thing that Michael Jordan doesn't get the most credit for would be that he's the most fundamentally sound basketball player who ever lived. Soon after their first meetings, particularly during the playoffs when Jordan was an unstoppable force for the Celtics, Bird developed a respect for Jordan. In his autobiography, Larry Bird describes how Michael Jordan stood out from all the other players he had ever seen and what made him special. Although the NBA had a few high flyers at the time, when Jordan pushed it to another level, Bird felt like a new generation of players would revolutionize the sport. Number 2. Isaiah Thomas Former NBA star Isaiah Thomas is best known for being part of the bad boy era for the Detroit Pistons. He is a Hall of Famer and frequently competed against MJ. Isaiah Thomas doesn't have a very smooth relationship with Michael Jordan, but he had something positive to say about him. I vowed to myself, no matter how spectacular he was, I was never going to show any emotion. Yeah, zero. You know, it's the one game that ironically, this may sound a little bit odd, but probably more than any other game, that's the game I looked forward to because you knew that night you had to be at your absolute best. So for me, it was the one game I looked forward to more than any other game to play against him because he was everything that you just described. Number 3. Bill Walton Bill Walton is an American television sportscaster and former professional basketball player. In an interview, he had many things to say about Michael Jordan's game. He said, Michael's had 49 points, and we shrugged and, you know, because other guys have scored many points in games where they lose, and so we're kind of in the locker room after the game and muttering amongst ourselves. Well, he'll never do that again. Jordan, with 8 on the clock, he ties the game with 63 points. You're looking at a record. Oh boy. So, in the locker room after this game, when he gets to 63 in our face, we looked at each other and we said, you know, this guy's pretty good. Number 4. Shaquille O'Neal Another NBA legend, Shaq is a sports analyst on the television show Inside the NBA. O'Neal is recognized as one of the all-time best centers and basketball players. He had this to say about Michael Jordan in an interview. I take pride in never being dunked on in 19 years. I could probably say I've been dunked on like three or four times, but Michael Jordan came baseline one time and tried to dunk on me and it hurt my heart. But I had to flagrant foul him and lay him out. And when I went to shake his hand and pick him up, he said, don't ever help nobody up. And he bounced right back up. And I knew then why he was the best player in the game. On January 12, 1993, Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal faced off for the first time. The reigning champion Chicago Bulls played against the Orlando Magic. In the Bulls' 112-106 victory, MJ finished with 23 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, and 3 blocks. 
O'Neal finished with 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists, but he also committed 8 errors. Throughout their careers, they clashed 21 times, 10 times in the postseason and 11 times during the regular season. Jordan has a 12-9 winning record, including a 6-4 postseason record. Shaq still draws attention to the fact that his team was one of the last to defeat Jordan and the Bulls in the playoffs. Number 5. Steve Kerr The head coach of the Golden State Warriors is American professional basketball coach and former player Stephen Douglas Kerr. He has won nine NBA championships, including four as the head coach of the Warriors and five as a player. In his career and experience playing with Michael Jordan, he said, If you wanted to look into Michael's soul, you would watch a practice, not a game. When you watch somebody that talented, focused, hardworking, and dominant in practice, I mean, Michael made every single drill feel like Game 7 of the Finals. That's how competitive he was, and he just set a tone for himself and the whole team with the way he approached practice, and that was pretty unique. Number 6. Dwayne Wade Wade played for the Miami Heat for most of his 16-year career in the NBA, where he won three NBA titles, was a 13-time NBA All-Star, was selected for the All-NBA team eight times, and was a member of the All-Defensive team three times. He didn't get to play live matches with Michael Jordan as he was just a kid when Michael Jordan was in his prime. However, he had this to say about Michael. I remember being a kid and getting the chance to watch somebody that just did everything well. Like, Michael Jordan played basketball on another level. Michael seemed like a tough competitor and vicious off the court. Michael dressed well and like he had the perfect smile and it was just kind of like he was a superhero. Five times Michael Jordan was named the NBA's most valuable player. Many people think he should have won even more awards. Most notably, it is commonly accepted that Karl Malone unfairly defeated Michael Jordan to win the 1998 MVP award because writers thought Jordan had already won enough. Jordan also won the 1988 NBA award for Defensive Player of the Year. Jordan is, by any measure, the league's best, with an average of 30.1 points per game, which was the highest in NBA history, and he set a record with his 10 scoring championships. He was one of the NBA's best winners ever. Jordan faced off against legendary squads early in his career and was the MVP of all six NBA Finals while leading the Bulls to six championships. Jordan was different from many other all-time greats because he was obsessed with winning. He was one of history's best trash talkers and was skilled at manipulating his opponents. Before the 1992 NBA Finals, the media compared Jordan to Portland Trailblazer star Clyde Drexler. Jordan took notice of this and used the Finals as an opportunity to show that Drexler wasn't in his league. In the same year, Malone won the MVP award for the season. Jordan's Bulls faced Karl Malone's Jazz in the 1997 NBA Finals. Jordan easily defeated Malone and, once more, demonstrated his superiority. Jordan used to let every little thing others said or did fuel his competitive fire. And what do you guys think? Do you think Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time? How would he do in today's basketball games? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content.